Today I'm going to be reviewing a very, very good book. If you're in the market for a really good read, this book is for you. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna be reviewing Odd Thomas, book number one by Dean Koontz. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dean Koontz, isn't that the guy that writes mm, crime thrillers? Yeah. Yeah, it is, and he can apparently write other stuff too. So let me read you the description for Odd Thomas before we get started so that you have an idea of what's going on here. The dead don't talk. I don't know why, but they do try to communicate with a short order cook in a small desert town serving as their restaurant confidant. Odd Thomas thinks of himself as an ordinary guy, if possessed of a certain measure of talent at the Pico Mundo Grill and rapturously in love with the most beautiful girl in the world, Stormy Llewellyn. Maybe he has a gift. Maybe it's a curse. Odd has never been sure, but he tries to do his best by the silent souls who seek him out. Sometimes they want justice. Without going into too much detail, Odd has a gift where he can see the dead and he can communicate with them in certain ways. He's a short order cook and he's very happy and content doing that. And that's what's crazy about this character and that's what makes him so likable is the fact that He's not aspiring to use his gift and his talent to be a superhero or to solve crimes. And it, you know, these are things that just kind of happened to him. He's okay just being an average guy. And that's what's so amazing about this book because it's like you're reading a book about this person's life who just happens to be able to see dead people. You know, that's all. And I know what you're thinking. If this is a crime thriller, how exciting could it be? Well, it's not really a crime thriller. There is some of that in there, but this is so different from you know, just picking up a James Patterson book or a Dean Koontz book, what you would normally expect. This is so different from anything that I've read recently, maybe ever, that I highly recommend checking it out because of how different it is. Now, he is able to see when bad things are about to happen because he has the ability to see these certain types of, they're not really ghosts, but they, they show up when bad things are about to happen. And so he knows if he sees them that something bad is probably going to happen soon. And he tries a lot of times to ignore it because if he interferes, something bad could still happen, but it could happen in, in an, a worse way than it was originally going to or hurt someone else versus who was going to be originally hurt. These things are called Bodox and they are really creepy and the way that they're described in the book is just so cool because they are not creatures that you want to be around. If you see them crawling around, you know something bad's about to happen. Where we pick up in the story, he's helping solve some crimes by communicating with the ghosts in certain ways because they don't talk to him. They don't just come out and say things, but they can still communicate in little ways that you'll figure out, you'll find out when you read the book. But as the story opens up, we get the sense that something really bad is looming, something really bad is coming. He has the ability to possibly stop this. He doesn't want all of this responsibility. It's not something that he enjoys having. You know, he's not want, he's not a superhero in the sense that he's wanting to take those powers and make the world a better place. He really kind of just wants to be left alone. The character develops so well throughout the course of the book that almost makes the story in and of itself. The way that the plot unfolds, it's as if you're there experiencing it. The characters are easy to follow. The storyline is easy to follow. There's plenty of action and plenty of things that happen. Some of the conversation scenes are a little bit long for my liking. I do wish that the pace was a little bit quicker, but overall I kind of wanted it to last. I didn't want this book to end, so I was okay with that. And the ending, one of the best endings that I've ever read. There's also a movie, and the movie's actually pretty good. So if you read the book and like it, definitely check out the movie. And if you're not going to be reading the book, go ahead and watch the movie because you want to you want to see the story. This is one of the best stories that I've read in a very, very long time. The characters are great, the story's great, the writing is great. Keeps you hooked and interested throughout the entire thing. Very few books, would I say, are hard to put down for me that I just want to keep reading. This is one of them. It's also a book I didn't want to end, though. And luckily for me, and luckily for you guys, this is part of a series. I'm really happy about that. And if you know me, and you know how I read, and how I enjoy books, I do not like series. I feel like so often it's a story that can be told in a single book, but they're just dragging it out for more money. And I don't appreciate that as a reader. I don't like my time to be wasted with filler content. I want real content. And I feel like this series is gonna give me real content in the future books. Really excited to read what happens next and to see how the character develops even further. Because with that ending, the way the first one ended, wow, I cannot even imagine what's gonna happen next and how he's gonna try and end the future books. Definitely check it out. I'm gonna put a link 
link down in the description to where you can pick up a copy of this for yourself because it's one of the best books that I have ever read. I really enjoyed it, highly recommend it, especially if you're new to Dean Koontz or if you've read some of his work before. This is almost like it's written by a different author in terms of the type of style that it's written in. It's still his type of storytelling, but this type of book, it's almost a different genre to what he normally writes, and that's what I love about it. It's got a little bit of everything in this book. There's action, there's in-depth story, there's romance, there's a little bit of everything. And to top it all off, Elvis's ghost hangs out in this town. I'm not joking about that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry for that. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and you love books and all of that cool stuff, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>